Hi, Mom. Jesus, terrible. All right, cool. All right. So the thing I, I wanted to show on uh, YouTube was like what's pretty standard. You're on YouTube. Yes, you are, terrible. Well done. <laughs> so what happens, right? All a lot of the time when we do work, like we check in our asset into the pipeline, it gets textured, and then a lot of times afterwards, we need to do model changes after it's already been textured. So I want to talk about that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to use a plane since it's pretty easy. It's already kind of UV'd for us. So imagine this is it here. This is our plane. It's already been textured. I'm just going to put on a basic uh, checker texture on this. So let's just hope my checker texture is still on here somewhere. <laughs> Instead, we get the memes. There it is. Cool. All right. We have our fantastic checker texture on this. Yeah, I know, right? We'd, we could, we should just put the meme. <laughs> we, could, we could totally do that. Just have, like, the meme and we'll distort the meme. All right, cool. So this is our nice, lovely model. It's been textured. And then one of the normal things that happens is they want to add more details. Things need to change, all that sort of stuff. So, but you don't want to ruin the texture artist's like life. Like, say for example, we need to modify this. This is pretend this is a panel on a wing, and we want to add details to this. You don't want to just screw the texture artist so they have to retexture the entire thing. Like, say for example, let's just do this model change. Really, really simple. So we have this piece here. We extrude it, and we pull it in. Right. So now you will see we have all this sort of stuff. It's not nice. So usually what we would do is you leave everything where it is and you just UV what is broken. So this, I would literally just select that and just move it off. So we know the new piece is now detached, right? And I'll probably just project this from the side, keep it simple. And then I'll put a seam in here and then unfold it in one direction. Boom. So we have this, right? What we can simply do is we grab this, we can go to transform, uh, get, and we can get the uh, textile density of this piece and then just simply set it to this piece. Boom. So now they have the same textile density and then you just simply find a spare spot on this UDIM to put it. I don't know, we can just do something like that. Nice and simple. So the textures are already here, they're already fine. They, nothing needs to really be modified. The texture artist might have to come in and clean up some stuff, but the general thing doesn't need to be completely retextured again. What you could do is you could take this piece as well and pull it out if you wanted. The unitize? No, there's no unitize. We're just using a plane, nice and simple. So that's one thing. Another thing is you'll notice, like, say you wanted to. I don't know, draw in some edge loops, like you wanted to triple edge this or something, right? You, you, you'll notice you can't slide edges around, because if you slide edges like this, right, you'll break the UVs, so you can't do this. But one of the things you can do is you can draw simply new lines. So you can do something like that, remove the edge loop, and now you've technically moved this edge without breaking the UVs. UVs? Nah, UVs are great. That's definitely something, that's another thing to keep in mind. You, even though you can't, like, you can't grab these edges and move them around, but you can still technically just draw new lines in and then get rid of that one. Also keep in mind, this is for hard surface, like, not characters. Like, characters need to keep in mind, like, um, like, point orders and stuff like that. This is mostly just for, like, hard surface and stuff like that. So notice we've, we've kept all the UVs nice and uh, organized still. Try not to move anything here. If you move this, it defeats the entire purpose of this. But you can always just put this stuff on different areas. I would also try and keep it like pointing the same way as well. Another thing which happens is like say for example, we now want to do like a damaged version of this. We would kind of like, you know, 
we might do stuff like uh, I'm just gonna quickly do this Boom. for the sake of this I'm not gonna bother like fixing the topology I'm just gonna show you something say for example this is now like a wing that has been ripped or something and then you go crazy like bending the panel stuff like that you might pull it a bit out stuff like that i've seen this done a few times by artists where sometimes they'll just completely they'll completely change the entire thing like i mean not change they'll completely uv the entire thing but the reality is like say for example we take this new piece here and we can, we can get this out of the way we can put that back in later like just because it's broken here, it doesn't mean we have to like modify all of it. We can simply just take like the broken bits and then just unfold those slightly. Whoa, all right. I'm sure this is actually connected first. So we can just simply unfold from here. Well, maybe we need to go a bit higher. So so yeah, just because you damaged like this section here doesn't mean this section needs to be completely retextured. Ruined it with the notification? That's all right. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the, the 15 months, Aaron. I appreciate it, man. But yeah, so th that's also something to keep in mind. Just because you modify a part of the thing doesn't mean you have to completely change everything. Another thing you can do is you can go up here to Tools and then go uh, smooth and you can just slightly, whoa it's detached there so you can just simply relax stuff a bit using smooth it's quite nice and then yeah when you have space we can simply just grab this go back in put that up like that so yeah, so now we have our nice new UVs. All we've broken was this bottom section here. So say there was some like specific weathering that was already done up here. It doesn't need to be redone. They only need to worry about this. So like a lot of the time, like students will think they just do their portfolio piece. I mean, they just do their asset, they check into the pipeline, they'll never see it again. With in film production, this happens quite a lot where we'll finish the asset, it gets textured, and then they want to add you know extra details in so this is something to keep in mind because texture artists really hate when you completely break all of their uvs and textures so this is the best way so it's best to keep in mind when doing like model updates like a lot of times we also do damage passes so that's where this stuff comes in handy and yeah just keep in mind that not to move edges around but do manually uh, cut stuff if you want to make changes like this but yeah, if you uh, if you guys enjoy this, don't forget to subscribe. I uh, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.